Hey friends, Wayno here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. What we have here in front of us is a Dana Model 80. Of course, we sell a bunch of disc brake kits, and of course, everybody knows about us being in the trucks, but kind of like the D100s, people have been for four or five years been asking me to do disc brake kit on the Dana 80. So, the Dana 80 uh, is basically the biggest axle that you see on our trucks. Uh, I forget a lot of information, but anyway, uh, Ford started using this in 1988. They were the first ones. Uh, it's a great big old unit. It has true four inch uh, tubes. Dana 60s have a three and a half. Dana 70s have a four inch tube and then it necks down towards the end. But a Dana 80 has a 10 bolt cover on it. Of course, this axle was used exclusively on the second generation Dodge 3500s. This axle came out of, as you can see, it came out of a 95. So, exclusively on the second generation Dodges. That's what they had, the 3500s. It's a very strong axle, 35 and 37 splines. Here's, here's the uh, shaft for it and here's a 70. It's about an inch and a half or slightly over, 158. Uh, Dana 80 is often underrated. Uh, basically its drawback is the size of tires. I'll give you an example by uh, the Fords. Fords use this on 3500s and 4500s. Are you with me? The Dana 80 is rated at 11,000 pounds. Most people in the business, gross axle weight 11,000 pounds. Most people in the business will tell you that it'll do more than that. Basically, it's the tire limitations on typically the dualies. Are you with me? There you go. So, how did we tackle this problem? Same old like we always do before. So, what do we have right here? We have a super simple assembly to bolt on. As you can see, here's the bracket. It uses three spacers that are neck down exactly to fit the welded housing on the Dana 80. This is the off-the-shelf rotor. The Dodge off-the-shelf rotor, 2002 up. As you can tell, this is extremely similar, simple, and similar to the Dana 70 that we have. So, what about rear disc brakes? Well, Chrysler tried it in 74, Lincoln tried it in 75, and Cadillac is the first people that were able to get the rear disc brake system working. Cadillac was the first people and they did this in 1976 on the big cars like the Eldorados. So, you know, we talk about disc brakes and drum brakes and proportioning. They didn't really know where to start. So in 1976, those big Cadillacs, they had to, basically the same calipers on the front and the rear. They had these great big old calipers. great big behemoths and see these that I use these are brand new castings these are the true e-brake castings with all new hardware which you can't find anywhere once again these are brand new castings so they use these big old calipers in the beginning but eventually they found out that the son of bitches were too big so these are the first generation calipers and then second generation calipers started around 82. This is the smaller version of what I just showed you. It's about two-thirds the size because they figured out that brakes don't need to be as big in the back as they do in the front because the front brakes do about 70% of your braking in a car. You can say that in a car 
but you really can't say that in a truck because our trucks are often loaded down in the back and they're almost a 50 50 are you with me so this thing bolts on real fast all you have to do is yank off your drum brake hardware i think that y'all can figure that out three bolts hold that on three half inch uh, bolts hold it on there's your caliper brake hose comes out of your caliper sends you off the hose clamp on the end of each hose its fitting is already screwed in there so you can double flare back to your original hard brake line are you with me yes you can double flare and hook up to your factory hard line the emergency brakes how do you do the emergency brakes well the factory cable that you have be careful when you take them out they all have these little knurls on the end some of them are cramped on with a big set of crimpers like linemen use basically they look like uh they look like bolt cutters or they're just soldered on so the brake cable it goes right up through there and I'm not going to do it but you can see they just hook in to that little notch right there and there's your emergency brakes so uh, it's all there it's all ready to go it's really really quick it's all new rotors off the shelf rotor easily replaceable and uh, well I guess you could call it a game changer anyway God bless you God bless America and happy trucking. Bye.